What is going on everybody? Erock here bringing you guys a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today's video I wanted to focus on two subjects here both uh, around the bigger legends of this game Gibraltar and Caustic. Uh, as far as Gibraltar everyone's been waiting to see if there's going to be a nerf coming to this legend. There is going to be a nerf coming to Gibby's arm shield but the thing is we might have to wait a little bit longer it will not be here at the start of season eight they did say it's going to be sometime afterwards so i do have some information on that and in addition as far as caustic how does this video tie into caustic as well the devs did come out and say they will probably not be releasing another legend at the bigger category size like gibby and gibraltar so we probably won't be seeing forge anytime soon but uh, but yeah, that's what this video is about. If you guys do enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Always helps the channel grow each and every day. Subscribing is absolutely free. We have live streams over on Twitch, so if you're interested, go sauce me a follow over there. And uh, without further ado, let's get into this video. So for me personally, even as a Gibby main when it comes to the ranked playlist, um, I really do feel like G Gibraltar is super overpowered. Arm Shield is just way too strong, but... Um, so the Gibbies is basically a tank of Apex Legends. It has a big dome shield for the teammates and a smaller gun shield that appears when they aim down sight, giving you extra health. Obviously, this makes him tougher to take down in a fight, but the trade-off of being he has one of the largest hitboxes in the game. A lot of players have complained quite a bit about Gibby's shield lacks damaging bleed through. Now, Respawn has announced they finally will be adding the interaction in an update, but like I said, it's going to be sometime after the start of Season 8. So if you're confused what bleed through actually is, bleed through refers to the transfer of damage to the target after a shield has been destroyed. Take any level of armor you can find in Apex, for example, say you have 50 armor. If you take over 50 damage with one shot, that remaining damage doesn't just go away. Instead, it transfers to your base health pool. Gibraltar's gun shield currently does not work this way. Instead of transferring damage over, it does make it disappear. This means that you have just one HP left on your shield and negates the full damage of an incoming shot. Which is basically why you'll see if you're shooting at a Gibby in a fight, you take his arm shield away and then it still takes a bunch more. There's no bleed through. That's what we need in this game for Gibby. This may seem like a minor detail, but it definitely makes Gibraltar much tougher to take down during a gunfight, and it has been a significant annoyance to non-Gibby mains for a while. So thankfully, Respawn is planning to fix this. I wish it would be right as the Season 8 starts, but like I said, they plan on bringing it in sometime during the Season 8 itself. On Reddit, one of the uh, designers and Respawn devs actually like sort of made a, made a message out confirming these changes stating bleed through and damage counting towards the stats slash evo to mitigate some of the shield economy difference in poking engagements against gib they wrote we really wanted to get the gun shield to change for season eight but we discovered a bug in how damage is registered by the gun shield with single projectiles versus multi-projective weapons so it will be coming just not at the start kind of sad but I'm glad that they have addressed it and it is on the way and now I wanted to quickly talk about their reasoning on why they will not be adding any further larger legends to this game so as the seasons have gone on some legends have gotten stronger than others thanks to regular buffs and nerfs but there hasn't been a big legend like caustic or gibraltar added since the game started octane horizon crypto revenant watson and rampart are all somewhat similar in stature some players might want bigger legends but that's unlikely to happen as we move forward into future seasons Daniel Klein, the lead game designer at Respawn, fielded a number of questions about Season 8 on the Apex Legends subreddit when the topic of hitboxes came up. Some players would rather have every character have the same hitbox, and while that is probably preferable in terms of gameplay, Klein explained that it is probably won't be the case. He says, listen, if we're developing Apex today, I'd like everyone is on the same set of hitboxes to make it work. Unfortunately, that's not the world we live in. You may have noticed we haven't shipped another legend on a large hitbox there for a reason. 
Unless we find a way to shrink Gibby and Caustic visually in a way that's not super derpy without having to redo all the skins and animations and then, uh, and probably do the same for our Tiny Legends, I don't see us realistically moving to the same hitboxes for everyone, as preferable as that would be. So. In a short term sense, it's basically their hitboxes. They can't shrink Caustic and Gibby down to have everyone's hitboxes the same. There are some hitboxes that are still broken in my opinion, like Pathfinder and uh, Wraith doesn't really have a head if you try and shoot at her most of the times. But this is basically why there will not be any bigger characters. So maybe this is also why that Forge got kind of killed off when they said Forge would be in the game next. Obviously some fans will likely still want to see bigger legends as well. Um, as a one size fit all hitbox, but that's just not going to be coming anytime soon. A lack of additionally bigger legends will only help Caustic and Gibraltar stand out from the crowd figuratively and literally, but it also probably means they'll get some love when it comes to buffs in the future. But first they must address uh, Gibby's shield arm, which they are. And I feel like Caustic gets there all a little bit too quickly. Um, I've been starting to play Caustic a little bit more and that's what I find out. But let me know what you guys think of all this in the comment section down below. Love to hear your guys' opinions. Um, that's going to be it for the video. Appreciate all the support, you guys. Um, and like I said at the beginning of the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It always helps the channel grow each and every day. And again, if you want to watch me live on stream, follow the Twitch. Everything's going to be in the description box for you guys. Twitch.tv slash erock. And that is it. I will see you guys in the next one.